Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a no makeup, just finally got done working a long day. Let's just do this. Snacks around the world. I know that it went up later than it should have, but things have been weird. And you know, weirdness happens and life happens. So today's snacks are all courtesy of Miss Lisa, Lady Bird Loves. I will try to remember to link her up here. Her and her blasted stars. <laughs> they're even in this box and they're multiplying. I blame Jane for that. Yes, I do, Jane. You put the curse on them. Now they're multiplying. Now I'm going to have a house full of stars. Anyhow. Those stars are rapidly becoming the herpes of the craft world. What he said. Exactly. They're just, they're everywhere. How does this happen? Anyway, I will deal because they're sparkly and silver. So, I mean, they're pretty, but they are everywhere. Anyhow, we're going to start off today's festivities with something interesting. These are rice cakes. Now, I happen to like rice cakes, so that is not, a, not a, an unusual thing. However, these are Marmite rice cakes. I've tried Marmite before. No, I tried Vegemite, not Marmite. And when I tried it, I didn't realize that you're supposed to just put a little bit on. You make some toast and you put butter and then you put a little bit on. I was like, well, if a little's good, more is better. Plunk. It was a bit much. Whoa, a bit much. So we're trying this again. They just smell very savory. There's no other way to describe it. Let me get out of, you get a whole bag full of them. They're just little light guys because you know, rice cakes. All right. The hand is having some. See, it's not off putting. Just a little savory. I'm gonna try one. Okay, he's handing his back. I think it's pretty good. And contrary to the, the health benefits of a rice cake or whatever, I would use this to dip in something. I bet with a little bit of cream cheese on this and a little lime zest, that would be delightful. I may try that later because I have cream cheese. I don't think I have any lime zest left, but you know, I'll make do. I'll do something. but. They're not bad. Way, way better than, you know, mass quantities of uh, Vegemite on a piece of toast. Much more subtle. Although there's nothing subtle about it, but it's way more subtle than it was. And it's very, it's nice and salty. I like salty. My mouth is watering from it. He's shaking his head no. This gets the, the, the fat chick approved thing because, you know, I like things like this. This will do. And I know Lisa doesn't like them. She said she, said she sent me all kinds of things that she doesn't like. <laughs> I mean, I'll try just about anything. And I think they're all right. If I saw these in the store again, you know, like an international store where I could get them, I'd probably pick them up. Um, but yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Very savory. Love it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm digging it. I really am. Okay. We are going to have something sweet, though, because she sent me a lot of sweet type things. I don't want these to fall over. I don't have a clippy over here, so I'll put that on there later. Which one first, pink or blue? Mm. Mm. Okay. We'll go with the pink first. It's smaller. I don't know why that makes a difference. This says Turkish Delight. Fry's Turkish Delight. Now down here, Fry's is an electronics store, uh, which that went bankrupt. That went bankrupt. It's gone now. I, I forget because I didn't get down there very often. Uh, it's from Cadbury, though. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of heavy for the size that it is. This might be just as heavy as that is actually. Is it going to tell me the size of the packet on here? No. But this is Turkish, oh, 51 grams. Okay, this is 51 grams. And this, they do their package. This is only 25 grams. This little thing is heavier than this, just so you know. This says Turkish Delight in Milk Chocolate. 
we shall see. Cadbury's is, of course, the good stuff. Not the Cadbury's we have here. Now, keep in mind, this has traveled a very long way to get here and was outside in the heat, so it may not be as pretty as it once was, although it survived pretty well. It's got a crack in it, but that's okay. We all do. <laughs> I'm going to try to separate this. Wow, wow. Okay, I may just have to take a bite and hand it to the hand. Let's see. I don't think I was expecting this to be sort of gummy. Not gummy in a bad way. I think I was expecting something crispy for some reason. Turkity. Turkish delight. Come on, that was funny. That's bad, dear. Very bad. This was quite yummy. I'm trying to see yeah, the colors. It has beetroot red and the colors on the inside, which makes sense. Flavoring. So I'll tell you what flavor it is. It's just Turkish delight. Chocolate covered goo. Yeah, chocolate covered goo. It's pretty good. Yummy. Would it be my first choice for a candy? No, because I, I love things that are really super sour and stuff. But would I turn it down? Uh, no. It's actually gone now. I ate my bite. He ate the rest. It's gone. All right. One more thing to try on this Tuesday evening. It's called Bounty. No, not like the paper towels. Um, for American folks, you know what I'm talking about. There are two little bars in here. Mm -hmm. And this is, it looks like something coconut by the packet. Doesn't say specifically what it is. Hmm. Ah. Moist, tender coconut covered in thick milk chocolate. Sounds yummy to me. It does sound pretty yummy. Oh, and this is cool. If you heard a fan just kick on, my oven fan just kicked on. On the back, it's actually got bounty and palm trees stamped into it, or coconut trees, I guess. And on the front, it's got that swirly bit. And uh, the hand is just taking it right out, right out in front of me. I'll see, yeah, he's got it. I've watched videos on how they do this from the machines. It's really cool. Anyhow, let's see. With almond joy, you can share half and still have a whole. I don't remember that commercial. That one was before my time. <laughs> but I remember, almond joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. This is just like a mounds bar that we have over here. Mm -hmm. It is yummy though. I'll need to take some insulin. It's quite sweet. Mm. Love it. It definitely gets his approval. Gets his fat chick's approval over here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's your mind. <laughs> <laughs> there is more in here that will be saved for another time. This may make an appearance on hot taste, the nice and spicy. And the stars are multiplying in this box. Whatever the star version of Hanky Panky is that makes more stars. I don't show it on camera, that's disgusting. It's happening in here. <laughs> Thank you so much to Lisa of Ladybird Loves. Please go check her out. If you haven't already, I know most of you came over here from her anyway, um, but be sure and check out her videos and uh, make sure you check out her community page as well. Also, check out my community page because there's a giveaway on my community page going on right this minute. I mean, not right this very second, but you know, you can participate. 
So thank you so much. I will see you very, very soon. And uh, don't be afraid to try something new or from someplace you've never been.